Alright guys, this is Connor here. Uh, this is my first ever YouTube video. I wanted to make make it on the topic of the ultimate truck gun or trunk gun, you know, whatever. Um, I've seen tons of videos out there and I just want to put in my input and see what you guys think, whether you disagree or agree, whatever. Um, I want to start off with a handgun. This is my Glock 19. It's my everyday carry. Uh, fantastic gun. No, I'm not going to say, yes, it has to be a Glock. I'm not one of those guys, but... Yes, it has to be a Glock. Um, I keep at least one spare magazine on me at all times when I'm carrying, but I also keep this Glock Extended Mag factory because I don't want some cheap magazine that's not going to work. Um, just for what if, you know. There's no telling. It is the 21st century. People are stupid. But um, Glocks, or handguns in general, are a great option. Um, they definitely have limited capacity, especially if you're shooting like a single stack or something like that. But definitely better than nothing. But if the bad guy's got a rifle, you know, whether it be a shotgun or an AR or AK, whatever, you're definitely at a disadvantage. So, which leads me to the next option. 12 gauge shotgun. 12 gauge or shotguns in general are great. Um, definitely very versatile. Uh, I would keep buckshot but have slugs as an option just for if you know you got a target at farther range which I'm not saying if there's an, a shooting or something to go pursue the guy you know get out of there do whatever you gotta do to get out but if it does get into an extended shootout and you know at a farther range yeah slugs are a great option so I'd say definitely keep some with you if this is going to be your trunk gun or whatever um, I also have a Winchester model 1300 I got it for Christmas. It's definitely not the best shotgun in the world. It works. And uh, the reason I would say something like this or like a police trade in 870 or, you know, Mossberg or anything like that is a great option is because if for the, you know, the situation where someone broke into your car and stole your gun, well, guess what? You're out a couple hundred bucks. If someone breaks in my car and steals my scar, if I had one, obviously. I'd be pretty pissed because I'd be out a bunch of money and you know no one wants that so you might want to keep that in consideration just while you're considering your trunk gun or whatever but hell I'd rather lose you know a thousand dollars and have a gun in my car than never have a gun in my car and then you know you get in a situation where you actually need it and you're like damn it I wish I was one of those crazy gun nuts who had a gun you know a gun in their car so I would say um, it's definitely a good option. Just keep that in mind. The only disadvantage with a shotgun is the limited capacity. So you have to keep that in mind, you know. You got five, six rounds in there. So, you know, if you're reloading and the guy with a, a carbine of some sort is still throwing rounds downrange at you, yeah, it's not going to be a fun situation. Which is why my top choice, the AK. The AK is a great weapon. Great platform, um, 762 by 39 it's a great round, ammo's cheap, which is why I keep a lot of it. Um, this is my Wasser 10, it's, de it's definitely not an arsenal, it's not the best AK out there, but it's an AK, it shoots, it runs every time. I put well over 1500 rounds through this thing, never had a jam, no hiccups at all. Um, I'd say the best thing about this AK is it's got this side folding stock here so if I knew that there's something stupid going on I could uh, keep it in my front seat with the stock folder over and then BAM I'm good to go you know I could shoot from the car or whatever if I had to I'm not saying I'd like to but uh, you know you gotta do what you gotta do um, that's one great thing about AK is you know you can have an under folder stock or whatever I'm not limiting this just to AKs though, you know, an AR would be a great option. Anything that has more capacity, you know, if you have 30 rounds in your weapon, then you have a way better chance of getting out of that situation than, you know, a six shot revolver or anything like that. So if you can keep rounds going down range while the bad guy's got his head ducked, you can either move to get better positioning or get the hell out of there. So... Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got, so just keep all those things in consideration while choosing your trunk gun. 
you know, capacity, cost, you know, if someone were to break into your car and take it, which would suck, and um, re reliability would be the most important thing. So make sure whatever it is, it's well maintained, don't have some, you know, gun that every time you're at the range it shoots half the time, you know, or you get a jam every other round. I would say definitely keep extra magazines if you're going to run a magazine fed weapon just because if you get a, you know, a bad magazine all you have to do is switch out mags because you know it would suck to be like oh man my AK has one magazine and it doesn't work I'm screwed what are you going to do throw it at him and also keep plenty of ammo it's my chest rig here keep uh, at least four magazines in there so it's you know it's 150 rounds which, if I can't get out of that situation with 150 rounds, I'm in trouble. So just keep all these factors in mind. And uh, thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions or anything like that. Any feedback. Let me know what your ultimate trunk gun is. Uh, I'd love to hear some opinions and ideas. So thanks for watching and have a good one.